This is the Hendricks College men's basketball coaches show. I'm Eric Holt. I'm here with the head coach, Thad McCracken. You guys split on the road in Georgia this weekend. Talk about those games for us, coach. Um, yeah, you know, we uh, went on the road and, and played well Friday night at Barry. Um, game was, you know, we jumped out to an early lead and they made a run as expected. The game was back and forth for a while. And, um, you know, we had some guys step up and, and make some huge plays down the stretch offensively, defensively, at the line, on the glass, um, you know, and, and a lot of guys in different areas. And I was just, just really, really pleased with the effort our guys gave and the, the toughness that we played with, especially down the stretch. Um, and then Sunday's game at Oglethorpe, um, you know, I, I felt like, uh, you know, we lacked the energy and the fight that we played with Friday night. Um, but with that being said, you know, we hung around and gave ourselves a chance and just uh, unfortunately came up a little bit short. Preston Smith played a good ball game Friday night. He came up with some big shots. Um, talk about his growth throughout the season and having to take over for the role for Jordan that he has. Yeah. You know, um, Preston's been put in a tough spot this year. It's hard to come in as a freshman and, and um, you know, play the minutes he's played, but also to do it at the point guard spot and, and run our team. Um, you know, we've said all along our team uh, – you know, we may be old in some respects, but in terms of experience, we're not. And uh, here he is running, running the show for a team that, that's very inexperienced. And, um, you know, I'm sure it's taken its toll on him mentally, but he's continued to hang in there and continue to improve as a player. And then, yeah, he stepped up in the guts of the game Friday night and hit a really big shot for us. Um, now, this weekend you guys return home. Friday, Friday night is senior night. It's always a big deal. Um, talk about the seniors uh, and how they've impacted this program. Uh, I don't think I could uh, words do it justice. You know, I think it's easy for people to look and see the impact that Drew and John and, and JB, you know, despite his season-ending injury this year, um, it's easy to see the stat sheet, the impact that those guys have had. Um, you know. And they've had a huge impact off the court as well. But I think what gets lost in that is Bruce Baker. And here's a guy that, um, you know, there is no doubt about it when he came into this program and, and now um, as he begins to exit it as a player, um, his impact has been immense and, and so undervalued and underestimated. And, um, that's a guy that, uh, you know, shows up, does his job every day, works incredibly hard cares about absolutely nothing but the team's success. And, uh, you know, I just have the utmost love and respect for Bruce. And, and I love and respect all those guys. And I don't mean to take anything away from Drew, John, and JB. Um, but again, their impact um, can be measured by stats and things like that, um, whereas Bruce's can't. Uh, but I can, promise, I can promise you it's as great, if not greater. And then you guys return home, final home stand of the season this weekend. You get Sewanee Friday night, center on Sunday. Both games were close on the road. Talk about those two this weekend. Yeah, um, be two good games, two, two talented teams, two well-coached teams. Um, you know, we're going to have to play well in both to win them, but we certainly think we're capable. Um, like you said, we went on the road earlier in the year um, and battled both of them um, down to the wire. And, you know, we expect to do the same. We hope to uh, we hope to come out on the top side this time. All right, coach. Thank you very much. Thank you, Eric.